walk my dog, a little bit of a walk. So kind of almost half a mile going back and forth. Cause you know, when I go back, I have to go back the same way that's home across the street. So yeah, walk, trying to walk. Oh, today, thank goodness, because I have a dash of energy. Well, I cheated too. I had a little bit of coffee at um, uh, McDonald's, just a little frap, caramel frap. And then we had breakfast this morning, me and my love, because it's Saturday. Yay. I love weekends with my baby because I get to see him, you know, because he's working Monday through Friday. So I went to go have breakfast. I went and ran in the dollar store. I wanted eyeglass wipes for these because they're perfect that the dollar store has, but out of all times, they're sold out. And I'm like, I'm going into labor soon. I needed those wipes for these and my phone because I sanitize my phone because of germs and my glasses for I can see so and they didn't have them so I'm like oh that's a bummer but then I end up getting Snow White toy guns because she loves guns so I got her toy guns and I got Sally a squishy toy for later in the house she loves because they, they're both my babies too those are my fur babies like uh, dogs are not just animals these these two are family Snow White's my five-year-old American Bulldog, Queensland Mix, and Sally's my German Shepherd. She's almost 100 German Shepherd, 100%, but no. She uh, has a bit of a mix because one of her ancestors mixed. But yeah, her Marcella girl. But yeah, anyway, so I got them things. And then what else did I get? Oh, Febreze. Because I had to spray the bed and their beds and the floor sometimes because... Of course, I'm not going to spray one baby boy's inside the room with me and stuff like that. I'm like, obviously, I know that chemicals, chemicals. I'm like, yeah, I'll be super like... Ah, so I gotta buy. I want to find some like uh, um, non toxic kind of ones. They have some at Sprouts, like organic stores will sell stuff like that. Because, of course, I'm gonna want sprays that are, are not gonna harm them, especially being a newborn baby boy. So, and then I forgot I bought something else too. I thought I did. I, I was craving some Skittles, so I bought some Skittles. So that's so funny. But also, we stopped at Lowe's this morning too because the trees, like I said, I'm going, I'm going to go trees. Mama got trees in the mail. So, uh, from this like organization that she joined because me and my mom love nature. Me and my mom love taking care of animals. You know, we're totally against animal cruelty. We're totally against cutting more of the forest and more trees that we don't need. People don't use paper anyways. They use technology, which is a bad thing and a good thing at the same time because I'm like, well, at least hopefully we can save trees now. Hopefully less pencils and less paper now, guys. It's like, we don't really need it no more. It's a technology, thank God. Because I'm like, we're murdering our own oxygen. That's really depressing. And people don't realize that. And they just keep cutting more trees and cutting the forest down. And then ruining the forest, besides affecting the animals' life, livelihoods. Since, like, those are their homes and stuff and jungles and stuff. It's like, we're also killing our own air. It's like, um, you guys, it's like, the world is literally killing ourselves. Like you're literally lessening our oxygen and just killing ourselves pretty much. It's like the pol like the poor polar bears are over there dying and it's like everything's going crazy. I'm like, um, maybe because humans are killing everything and then throwing chemicals in the air and then throwing oil in the ocean. It's like, this is depressing. God just probably looking at the earth like, I don't even need to do anything. They're just gonna like kill themselves pretty much. I'm like, pretty much. Humans are pretty retarded. It's depressing. Thank goodness the Lord loves everybody because I try definitely. I'm like, Lord, give me that love this year in 2021 for people and not to punch people and not to get mad and aggravate it. Cause like one, this one person that was my old friend said that I'm a kind of person that, um, I don't like when people disagree with me. I'm like, well, obviously, but also at the same time, I'm not going to try to change them. But if they're going to try to change me, then that's just disrespectful and rude. My beliefs and stuff. That's what I don't like. I'm like, okay, you can believe in what you want. I'm like, I'm not going to force my religion or my beliefs on you. If you're for abortion, if you're et cetera, et cetera, I'm like, that's fine. That's you. That's your life. If you tell your kids there's no God and et cetera, et cetera, that's you. But like, you, but people don't respect people nowadays. That's the thing. People don't want to change everybody's minds. The other people do. And on my end, I'm like, this is me and that's you and just. It's just best if we stay away from each other. I'm like, cause I'm not gonna change my beliefs. My beliefs is whatever the Bible says. I'm sorry if it hurts your feelings, but I believe in that also. It is not old, it is new. It's just people love to sin and people love to murder and people love to steal and people just want money and sex in this planet and that's all they want. So I'm like, that is what the world revolves around. Money and sex, that's it. That's, it. that's what everybody wants. Especially money and everybody's greedy and everybody's selfish and like, oh, me and my family and that's it. And they don't even like care about the kids that are out there being kidnapped and murdered and trafficked and 
the world the real reality that this world is you know there's tragic out there and people being murdered and stuff like that and people are just like well there's nothing i can do about it but i'm like there ain't of course because we're not police officers etc etc but being christians you know people blame it on god too like oh if god allows that and stuff i'm like no sin allowed that the devil's allowed to rule this earth pretty much because humans just love to sin and humans just want more evil than good and so like god can only take care of his own children god could take care of the body of christ we're all sinners it's like of course we all are sinners everybody that goes to church is a sinner i'm like how sweet no one's sitting on the people even the pastor the preacher or the minister female or male it's like we're all imperfect we all sinned you know some kids some people had even ministers had like children at 16 you know it's like they're the same as you it's fine it's perfect you know and then god loves them just the same some people have taken drugs that are ministers now you know and it's like god doesn't judge them god totally forgets you know and people that's one thing about humans too they don't let go they'll just like hold grudges against people too and that's another negative of humans it's like oh well you used to do this in the past and it's like well they did it in the past but if god forgives them and let that go then you also need to forgive your family members and etc and let that go too you don't hold grudges but humans are humans and they just hold grudges and it's like <laughs> the number one thing that god can help humans with is love in their heart and when god helps gives you the kind of love that he has then you can forgive and you can let go of things etc etc like in my family i forgive all my family members etc i love all my family members i pray them the best and if some of them never want to talk to me ever again, you know, that's okay. That's life. And I just love them from a distance. And the Lord knows that on my part, I do my part. And on their part, they just want nothing to do with me. And I'm like, and that's okay. It is what it is. I'm just so grateful. I have my mommy. I pray for my mom's health all the time. Because she is like, of course, she's my only Christian person in my life, really, that I need. Because we talk about God. We read the Bible. We pray. We have our little Bible studies with my mom, me, and my aunt. Marcella and that's all I need in this life and especially when baby boy comes to he'll be with us I'm gonna read him the little baby Bibles and teach him too about God and that's my beliefs and that's okay and that's what I don't like about people if they don't respect that they're just like well you're teaching your child about a fairy tale or you know a delusion and I'm like that is so disrespectful to me though I'm like it's okay if you don't want to believe in anything that's with you that's fine okay if you to believe nothing happens when we die and etc etc i'm like that's fine that's perfectly fine but i'm like at the same time i'm like you need to respect other people i'm like this is just me i'm like i believe in a higher power i believe the ocean is majestic and amazing and the mountains and volcanoes and the earth is like mostly fire you know that's why it's like fire is the center of the earth it's gonna burn hell eventually you know when jesus takes his children and the earth catches on fire i'm like there's fire in the middle of the earth anyways too guys it's like that's a scientific fact so i'm like reality is we're going to and reality is eventually the sun's going to go out reality is eventually this world's going to get more suffocated we're already killing the ozone layer with all this caca that we're doing to the air so it's like our air is already way terrible compared to back in the days so i'm like people don't look at the science of it too i'm just like i i can help you but i'm like believe what you want but i just believe in a majestic higher beautiful power that created it, it all like nature created all the animals created every human and people are so judgmental too they're just like well some people are gorgeous and some some people are ugly and that is incorrect that is very very wrong just because someone's not attractive to you you know that doesn't give you the right to be like oh that person's ugly or their personality's dorky or they're just weird etc cetera, etc cetera. because as us humans we're very judgmental but thank goodness like i said god loves everybody and i'm trying to be kind love everybody etc cetera, etc cetera. even the mean people because i'm like you know god loves you and you're a mean evil person but it's like god loves you and that's you know just stay away from those people and you know pray from a distance etc but it's like but yeah, God never has made anybody ugly. He even says in the Bible, everybody is in his own image and is perfect and beautiful, you know, they're in their own way. So it's like, I hate when people say that, well, that person's ugly. I'm like, that's so rude. And plus it like knocks down people because I got called ugly a lot and it knocked my self-esteem so low to the ground. It took forever to gain self-esteem 
like I would always cut myself since the age of 13 because all those negative words and like I got freak I got ugly like I got too hyper I got dork I got like mean names and those really affect humans and those really hurt you know because I have acne scars on my face so people are just like oh you're so ugly or because I wear glasses you know because I don't have the perfect lips or my ears seem too big to people or my hair's not perfect or etc etc you know so it's like it's crazy in this life but God made people as is you know and you're beautiful male or female as you are God loves you remember that and humans are always going to be judgmental and negative and just you know it you can't really ignore it because it is going to hurt but just be okay just it's no it's going to be okay just don't take their words to heart for sure because you know it's just we're all different looking and that's fine and some people you know are, are gorgeous you know that's lovely some people look beautiful in dresses and stuff like that or some people look nice in tuxes and that's okay and stuff but I'm like that doesn't mean that you're a hideous person because you know that person might look a little bit better in a dress than you do and it's like that's fine it's okay like don't go kill yourself or say I'm the ugliest person in the world because of that and that's tragic that's what I used to do too all the time and it's like don't do that it's gonna be okay but yeah, like I said, I'm 30 years old now. And since 13, I've been cutting myself, had low self-esteem. I'm still building that self-esteem to get high. And especially having my son any day now at, um, uh, what am I, 40 weeks and three days? I want him to have healthy self-esteem. So I need to have healthy self-esteem to show him and remodel, be a model for him to have good self-esteem. Love yourself in a godly, good way. And, you know, and don't let people bring you down. It's, the, the words will hurt, but, you know, don't let them drag you down for sure.